A few months ago, Paul came up and said, hey, I want to do something with an electric car, specifically a BZ. And I said, me and my team know nothing about electric. And he said, good, great chance for you guys to learn. We've dove in pretty hard on this whole thing and realized the potential of electrified battery electric vehicles. And I'm a true believer now that there is a future for this. And I'm stoked to be able to be part of the first build where we take a BZ and turn it into a race proven vehicle. We're trying to get the car out by the end of the week was our goal. This week, it's always, I feel like a harder week because it's very small things that are happening. Kind of all the big stuff has already taken place. So right now we are working on the rockers. This is the driver's side right here. We're just countersinking all the bolts on the bottom. So that way everything's flush on the bottom. Now it's just all the nitpicky stuff of getting everything ready for paint. The farther we get the car along, the better off we are at the end of the road, basically. So, so now we have our front splitter completely shaped and sized to the car. It may help it out aerodynamically, but a lot of us, it's just kind of more eye pleasing last couple of weeks, pretty much gotten in all the 3D printed parts now, so front and rear fenders. So we actually bonded these two together to make one piece, and these actually, everything gets bolted onto the car and can be bolted off. A couple studs and a couple bolts, and you got a fender kit. There's also little things we've done with the front. We screen them in, let the air get in, so it get, disrupts that just dirty, dirty air in the wheel wells. And then we have outlet vents from the back of the wheel wells but all in all, super happy with how the body kit came out and how it fit. It's now at a point where I'm comfortable sending it over to paint with minor, minor work that they're gonna have to do. We had a little switch to put the stock dash back in the car and then also move these mounts. So Justin made a plate that went up there. It looks clean, make it look as much as factory as we can. We really, really wanted to make this thing beautiful on the outside and just totally functional on the inside. Once you max out on power, the only thing you can gain on is removing weight from a vehicle. It'll be fun to see as we kind of explore over the next few years, different battery architectures and power engine opportunities. What can we get out of this BZ and, and just how much fun can we get from it? When you're talking about a hill climb, a perfectly designed electric vehicle should be able to be better than the best internal combustion engine only because they're not affected by altitude. So originally the charging port on this car was in our passenger fender. So we came up with the idea to remount our charging port in here. So luckily we had our good friend Cole come over and 3D print us a little box. So this will actually go and there's your charging port. We've received our brake package. It's a single piece caliper instead of a split piece. It's just, it's a really, really nice, well-made piece. Right now, we're still waiting on shocks to show up. That's a huge stress because of customs. It's supposed to be shipped today. So this is a Camry shock from the same company that is giving us shocks for this. Top plates are definitely different, but we found out if we take out one of these studs, this will fit up in place. It allows us to travel the suspension far enough to where as low as we'd ever want to get the car. And we wanted to make sure we weren't getting up into the stock bodywork and we're able to turn the wheel back and forth. And so as of right now, at full bump in the corner, we can still make full turn without having an issue of it, trying to push the fender off it or something. So today we're hoping to, you know, get the steering wheel just finalized. Marty and OMP basically came up with the steering wheel. Marty had made a bracket for the regenerative braking. So it, you're able to change how much or how little it drags. Today, we're gonna find out whether the wheels spin. We have not done that yet. So it's either gonna be exciting or it's gonna be a head scratcher. So we have to physically drive the car and make sure it's aligned right and make sure the steering wheel is where it needs to be and we'll be able to tack our parts on and then go from there. There's always a crunch at the end of the day to, you know, you kind of pick a date and go, this is our end date and we got to be done with whatever we're doing. So there's always a lot of long nights and long days coming up to that. Been grinding the midnight oil, so we're getting there. Right now, if you look at the car, it looks like it's a long way off. Every piece has been 
fit and placed on there. Right now, that's just removed to get the details done. But when it gets together, it's going to look like a different vehicle. Oh my goodness. Really glad that we ended up landing on this graphic package. The red, black, and white is a very classic Toyota color. You see the wing, you see the splitter, you see those are all highlighted in black. It looks really, really good. It's in the infant stages of Toyota's electrified vehicles. The potential is there in racing purposes to blow people's minds. Well, if it performs anywhere as good as it looks, then I can't wait to see it out on the track.